Hi there, welcome back. So now let's move to to small tutorials, okay? So everything that we saw previously that probably I show you many auctions. So now we're going to they set small pieces in these tutorials to understand better what is happening. Okay, so the first one will be external aerodynamics, okay, external mesh. Okay, we're going to see the influence of surface refinement and also feature edges on the geometry. So this is the what we have okay a cylinder and an external domain and something very important let me open here okay uh on shape so look at the importance of creating the geometry but also creating your domain in on shape so this is how my domain will look like okay so i know that probably i will call this one inlet outlet dot button and so on but important is that we have here is a clean this vertex i have the coordinates so recall that in block mesh i need to get to give all those coordinates so see that when you create it here you can also have access to those coordinates and let me hide that one and also you get to this small box and see that you have your coordinates here so it's much easier to create everything when you are using all the dictionary the snappy x mesh and all dictionary so always get your visual references and as well you can measure something here so you can get an idea of the dimension of the of the cell or if you have gaps or or edges or, or whatever okay so what we're going to do is this okay so just to remind you that the, this uh when we use surface features what we're doing is forcing the geometry Okay, it's not PX mesh to snap to these chart angles. Okay, so see that here using edge refinement, here with no edge refinement. So see the difference. So here you are not forcing to snap to those edges. So it's up to you to choose what is the behavior. For you, this is okay, go ahead. But most of the time, probably it's not okay. So you want something like this. And sometimes it might happen that you don't have edges, so you need to use it. Okay. So in this case, I will use this auction. We saw also in the previous tutorial that using surface features, but also with part of you, you can extract those edges, okay? So if you open Snappy X Mesh, X -Mesh see that the controls, and just to mention here, now specific auction. So the curvature refinement, you can control with this angle. So remember, the smallest the, 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 this angle is, the more refinement that you are going to use. And here you select, now the features okay those edges that you want to snap if you put zero it means no refinement you are just forced like in this case you are forcing just to snap to the edges and how that angle this one is measured is something like this so imagine that you have your stl and you have your resolve result feature angle that you define at the actual angle so if the actual angle is less than that one there is no curvature refinement okay so this is how you choose it. So if you put this refold, resolve angle less than this actual angle, you are going to refine, okay? So these are the uh, scenarios and how it is measured. So the lowest this refold, resolve feature, the more features is going to capture here. And the surface refinement, okay, how is the set is like this. So in this case, see that we're just accessing the global surface, we're not using regions. So see that you put the global value level to four, two, minimum and maximum, and the second one, four, is related to this curvature refinement. If you put the two values the same, nothing happened, this doesn't enter into action. Then in this case, we're going to create a refinement bus in the uh, box in the geometry. So see that here we have the, the coordinates that you can get from, from on shape. So you can get your coordinates, create this entity here, but also you can create a read and STL. It's up to you, okay? You choose the way we will do the same, but just to show you that sometimes you need to read STL, you already have here some geometrical entities <laughs> to create those regions automatically. Okay, so you create this one, you give it a name. This is the name refinement box. And then you are going to have in Castellated Mesh Control, you have this sub dictionary. Okay, in this sub dictionary refinement regions, you choose the name, okay, and then you refine that using these auctions. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to show you how to run this case in basic auctions, but then it will be up to you to play with the, all these, these auctions. But see what happens 
here in this particular case resolve feature angle so see the effect of this okay then you play with a uh, explicit feature edge that is the edge so see zero you are forced to snap but see that you put four and actually you are refining everything in reference to the background cell okay so see that all these options you increase also the refa re surface refinement here to four okay you see that you reduce this value you are adding more refinement okay so it will be up to you to play with all these options I want to remind you that we have a single surface okay so many options to play remember that this exits uh, edges we can get it using surface features okay and you define it here in this dictionary okay so in this case reading one single surface you can read multiple surface surfaces there is no problem and you use this include angle that you can get the visual reference also okay this angle is measured like this something similar to the previous one okay the idea is the same but you can get also the visual reference using part of you with the filter feature edges but remember that these features will be the complement so here you define 100 uh, you define 30 in surface features you use 150 to capture the equivalent the equivalent features okay so these are the dictionaries that we're going to read this is how we do the match see that we're going to use the option override meaning that we're going to put the auction, the, the mesh directly into constant poly mesh okay or you can do it step by step so let's see this case in action okay so let's go here and okay 101 shm basic m1 seal and then you have four cases here we're going to work it out all these cases so we go into c1 okay so c1 is with no boundary layer Okay, so actually here you have readme cases and you can see what is it, it, each case so we have surface x so basically open here and we just need to explore block mesh uh snappy x mesh so also you have the commented dictionary and the clean so here i put already the the clean cases so see that it's very straightforward okay so usually people get afraid that oh my god what is this but see that when you erase the comments and then you put just the compulsory options and you use the right value good values not to get good measures it's not that tricky so see that we only need to read the geometry so see access the stl use this method this type of ftl give it a name so see that i'm calling banana stl surface i have a single surface i'm not accessing region so here i put this comment if you want to access region for the moment we're not interested and then see that here create the refinement box but if you want you can open some other stl you can read multiple stls there is no problem then you go here castellated mesh controls you use this uh okay so here uh should be my recommended value suggested the street this is the number of, of cells between the when you have different refinement levels no? so see the maximum number of cells minimum number the law on balance this is in parallel so these actions are recommended to leave it like this okay the important one is this one okay so in this case the mesh it's not going to exceed 2 million cells that by no way is going to reach that okay but be careful that here you control that okay then features so you extract your features and you force it just to to get that to to to, to snap to the features no refinement is you want you can add more features so see that i put it there so you want you can comment it and see what is happening then at the surface so see that you access this surface that you created here with this name you ask, access that surface here and you give a refinement level to two okay or two fours you want to take into account code whatever but i recommend you always to use uniform and please do not use more than four more than four okay it's not needed it will use too much memory it will give you also problems with uh with the boundary layer okay so it's one as smallest edges the smallest cells try to refine to get finer background mesh so remember that this is split and everything is done with in function of the background mesh so at the beginning see that we're only doing castellation and snap no boundary layer okay so i'm just going to read these options so see that here 
you have the angle where putting C, uh, 60, but the recommended value is 30. Okay, it's up to you. Let me put it there. Then you created this box at the, at the beginning. See here that this is in A, and inside this box, you want to refine. Okay. So the first value is a large one, meaning that everything inside the box, and then this is the refinement level. Uh, if I would recall, I think now this has been standardized in, in version nine. So now you, you put one one, okay? You need to put the second, this one, a large number, okay? But I, I have to check, okay? But it will work in this case, there is no problem. Location in mesh, remember this point is where you want the mesh, okay? So if you put it outside the STL, but inside your domain means external mesh. If you put it inside the STL, you do you do the cylinder mesh. And the rest of the options are standard. So just read the guidelines that you have in your deck of slides and you will see what is happening. So just this is related to the snapping to get the body fitted mesh. Here, nothing to do because we're not doing this for the moment. And then you have your mesh quality that I recommend you to use these values, okay? So remember, during the whole meshing process, Snap, it will try to enforce this, but by no means it will gi give you this, okay? But it will try to do its best to enforce this, this quality criterion. So let's do the mesh, okay? So let's work it out. So this is a super fast case. You have the automatic scripts there. So see the step is block mesh. So see in block mesh, we have the coordinates. So as you go to your domain, you can measure here and then here. So see that it goes from minus five to five and you get all the coordinates. So this is important stuff. So. And then I'm going to say that my Delta X, my space and in all dimension directions will be 0 0.5. Okay. And the rest is a standard. Okay. So see that and patches. Okay. So, Probably in using here, this is an, an old notation. So as you, you go to the slides, you will see that it, and using boundaries, now how to define, let me go back. Or in previous dictionary is, is defined it using a keyword boundaries. So this is another notation, okay? There are two notations to, to create those those patches. This one is also valid, but I think the, the, the more correct one, and let me open here just to show you. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, uh. let me go, so it should be here. Okay, let me see if I have also the other, there are two, two notations. So see here that is boundary. Okay, so see the difference in notation. So here is boundary and here I'm calling passion. So boundary, you give a name and then the type and then the faces or the other way is patches and you put type that it will be always patch with name and then the connectivity so you have these two, two notations it's up to you to pick up one i think it is better to work always like this okay because this here is you use this one will let you use different types instead instead this one you are forcing everything to be patch okay so at this point, let's run. So block mesh, then surface features that you have the dictionary here, it will start, the, it will ec ec extract those features. And then it's not PX mesh. So see that we're not going to use the override auction. So it will, it's going to save all, all the steps just to show you again. So let's run. And as usual, remember always to save you now your log files that you have it there. So it's always recommended and check your mesh quality at the end. So see that is doing all the mesh. <clears throat> Following with this, this action. So this should be relatively fast. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's getting there. And it's just doing castellation and snapping. Okay, I didn't I didn't enable the boundary layer meshing. So see that always continuously what it's doing that is trying to enforce mesh quality. Okay, so it's just choose values too conservative, it will take a really long time to, to get that mesh and 
again there is no guarantee that you are going to get that and actually sorry i was working in the wrong directory here so i launched the the wrong mesh so that why that was why it was taking too long this should, should be super fast so let me go here okay so it's doing the mesh there is no problem and it's just castellation on the snap so see that you have a step one and two so if i go here i open so let me put a cut plane so, so see that first castellation and second is the body fit see that this is the region volumetric region you have a surface refinement but also you have an edge the edge refinement okay everything is done at, at castellation time remember so let's see okay let me so here okay you have the surface there and see that this is what we have okay see that you are enforcing to have that snap in there so just to remind you okay how that i really like to use part of you some when i want to have a lot of control now on, on my geometry and just to show you some options so here so remember you go here filters and you can use filter egg edges apply and you extract your edges there and then if you want to select just one here you can do the selection so select here and then extract selection and then you can save it okay go here and save data and save it as btk okay and you can apply just refinement in this edge so as you can see you can have a lot of control control okay it's not necessarily your, you you need to use you now the boss curves here you can have a second one and then more control there the other thing that is super helpful so see that you read the geometry also here in in part of you you can do selections using this tool of the surface so let me show you that for instance let me select and let me put it like this okay see that i'm going to select by well, selecting everything okay you have okay so see that i'm selecting those faces i probably i don't like that selection let me do better x max okay so let me do this one select through okay so see that i selected all these faces okay and you can do the same is extract apply and see that you extracted this selection and now you can save this stl and you can read it in uh in the snap px mesh and apply a refinement to this extraction so to save this stl you extract it if you go here into save data you are not going to you are not going to be able to save it as stl because you need to convert it to a surface okay so go here in filter and see that in filter extract surface you apply this filter so now this will be converted to another type and then save data okay sorry it's save data not a state and now you are able to save your stl so let me call it joe this stl save it as ascii okay and let me close here just to show you this this is super helpful okay you can have a lot of control so as you go uh, it should be here 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 and i put it here so see that you have your joe stl and you can open it okay so let So it's your STL file. So it's a single region. Okay. So it's the one you can change this keyword. Okay. But let's say that I want to use this extraction that I just did. So you just go here. Okay. Just let me go here and see that 
And actually, all these STLs that you see here are regions that I extracted using this method, okay? So you will see that as you open this region one STL, you will see that it is in a specific selection. It's Joe STL, if I would recall, I call it Joe STL. And let me call it here, Joe. And then if you want to apply a refinement to that specific one, you can go and let me do like this. No, it's not features. I want a surface refinement. And you select it here. So you call it Joe. And let's say that I went all and all that four four. And let's redo the mesh. So now that specific region that it extracted you can apply the refine. You can do something similar as you have your geometry here. You can also extract surfaces. So you can select this face and save that single STL and apply that refinement there. So you just read the STL and apply a refinement there. So later I'm going to show you some techniques, methods to, to, to do that. But everything is controlled at the refinement level. So now see that we have the mesh and let's open and let's let's take a look just at the let me go last time and we need just take a look at the surface so see that you have there the selection that you did you apply that refinement and the other you don't have that okay so you have this effect this is when you, you apply the second refinement, you, you, it kind of split in two different surfaces. Then you can merge using create patch. You can merge these two, okay? In create patch, you can use that dictionary and you can merge different patches, okay? So use that one and then you merge it and just solve that problem, okay? So in another video, we'll show you how, how, how to do that, but it's not a big deal. And see that you have a lot of control, okay? Another way to do it, okay, and let's see that, that you can, you, we added that new surface, okay, and let me, sorry, bam, 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 bam. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead, okay, and read it. And instead of adding here in refine surfaces, you can add it here in refinement regions, okay? So in refinement regions, you can go here, go, and you say distance. And I want that refinement, let's say 0 0.2 meters from the surface, refinement of four, okay? So now get the idea. So this one refine surfaces, it will constrain it to that surface. Here, you are going to select that region and you are going to apply it a distance. Okay, so it can be constrained to surface, but also volumetric, okay? So this is the one I like to use. And if I go here again, Okay, so this will be a little bit longer because now it will add this refinement level of four in all cells, this distance from that, from this selection, okay? So it will add more and more cells. And also we're not going to have that problem of, the pa of that subdivision that was created here in the patches, okay? If I will, let me see, create patch, okay, I don't have it there. Okay, it is done. And see that you don't have that new patch. And just first, let's go latest time. Okay, so the surface. And look at the surface that, again, you apply that, that refinement to your selection with no problem but also is you plot your internal mesh and let me put there a, uh, 
cup plane. See that the refinement is extending that distance, not the actual 0 0.2 meters. So I have to, to say the truth here that I really, I prefer this method, okay? So when I do these selections, I always apply it in, in surfaces, okay? I ca you can get this nice transition also. So see here that 0 0.2 meters, apply that refinement, you split the background cells in four, okay? So you see that it's triangulated, just the same disable here. Okay, so this is a very nice effect, okay? So this is the way I like to proceed, okay? So as you see, you, 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 you can have a lot of control. So let me erase these actions. Okay, so we go to the base case and let's rerun again the base case. Okay, we have the mesh and see that we have the folders one and two. So at this point, if you are happy, just to remind you, if you are happy with, with what you have in two, what you can do, erase here and then transfer this one into constant poly mesh. Okay, you transfer and now you can do this, cancel this. I did it using the file explorer, probably it's better to, to do it using the terminal. You will see that it's faster. And as you go here, check mesh, you have your mesh and now what you can do is open the boundary file and you can do the renaming here so for instance min x for me will be an inlet max x for me will be an outlet and it's a patch patch and this mean y mean let's say that let me put it top bottom and let's say that i want symmetry there Symmetry, symmetry, this one I want to call it front, uh, this one will be front and back. And again, let me call it symmetry, if it is 2D, you pull it in, it's up to you, okay? Or you can put it also as a patch and then you assign in a slip wall, so symmetry is equivalent to a slip wall. And banana STL surface is a wall for me. Erase this, and that's all. So you set your names and the types in the file, and then you need to create the folder zero. And in the folder zero, you are going to put your boundary condition. So later we are going to do case C3, and that is we are going to see that start that those steps. But as you see, <coughs> nothing changed. So see here that now you can access inlet, outlet, uh, banana STL, top wall, should be bottom, top, back, and then front. Okay, so relative simple. Okay, so just let me close here. And to show you the other option, so here we create the folders one, two, one, two, three, whatever. So as you go to your automatic script, you can use the option override. If you use the option override, and just to make it clear the difference, I hope it is clear, but just to be sure, if I run this one again, the mesh, is automatically everything it is automatically copied into constant poly mesh you don't have the intermediate steps okay so as you don't have those intermediate steps you cannot do this the restarting that we did previously remember that you can restart from steps two and redo the boundary layer so it's not possible so it's up to you i really like to use this method when you save the intermediate steps. So I'd like to do it, okay? But sometimes I'm 100% sure that my I'm going to get the right mesh, so I don't put it. But there is not much of different, different, but be careful of that. 
So that's all okay, that I wanted to show you in this basic case. At this point, feel free to play with all the options that you have here, no refinements or faces, edges, you can extract edges manually. Okay, look at the parameters I put here also, so try to get similar outcomes, okay? Also here you have many comments now, so many STLs, so you can uncomment those STLs and see what is going on. So just to show you, I will launch part of you. Okay, and let me open those uh, STLs. So see that uh, the geometry, the original geometry is this one. Okay, so it shines here. And then I have, for instance, uh, region one. See that I selected this specific group of faces. Okay, so this selection was done after, after I, I generated the mesh. Okay, so because the STL, the STL is not like that. So I generated the mesh and then you can access that one and get those patches. Then for instance, three, three mesh, let's see what we have this. Okay, so this is the triangulated. So that this is a triangulated mesh. So for instance, just to show you as well, you can select here. And so imagine that you, you generated your mesh. It doesn't matter for where it comes. You can extract that, apply, and that's all. Then you save this STL and you can apply a refinement to that STL, okay? So here you have different, so for instance, what is this one? So this is coming from on shape, so it's nothing. Okay, so let me generate this mesh again, just to show you, okay? We go, this is super fast, and we have it. We launch Patafon. Okay, and I want to access just the surface here, banana and steel. So see that we have this, and this is the surface triangulation. But let's say that I want to access a group of faces here. Just go and select it. Sorry, it's here. And you do a selection like this. Extract those faces. Okay, and see that now you have it there. Then you go filters, alphabetical, you have here extract surface. And now you can save this one and let me save data. Okay, you put it in constant three surface and let's overwrite that one. Save it as ASCII, always save it in ASCII format, okay? And now you can go here and let's do it again. Let, let, let's add that one. Okay, so see that now is that a specific patch that you have there. I go here, okay, you're written, give it a different name. And then you can add it. So you have two methods to add it. You can add it in surfaces or in regions. So I will add it here. So there's no problem. In the next next video, we'll show you how to merge because it's going to create a second patch. So I'm going to show you how to merge. So I will put there four four. Okay. And doing dun, 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 dun. should be it should be fast probably will take a little bit longer because you have that four four that is that is a lot of refinement that you are adding four is already a lot so just to remember the, this advice that do not go do not use refinement level more, more than four is too much okay so you want to have a smaller cells it's better to play around with your background mesh the one that you generate with this block mesh or you import, okay? And now let me go here. So I'm using the auction over right and see that you have this second patch. Okay, ah, I, it read the, the old one, it didn't read this. Was, okay, let me go again. Da, 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 da. So what happens, I probably didn't write that patch so let me go here 
let me do a selection again here so let me select this group so there are different ways to select you have this one apply okay um, filters and tracks or face cool save data and let me call it TT okay so TT and ba -ba -da -ba where it didn't save it, where I save constant user face. Okay, I don't know where it saved that patch, so let me reopen. Okay. Here and here. Okay, let me select this. Just this small selection. You have also polylines now, you, you can play around with those options there. Okay, filter and extract your face and save data and should we, okay, ASCII, TT, boom, boom, ba, -da -ba. should we, ah, okay, it's there, ah, I didn't see it, okay. Okay, so we have it there. Now ensure that that file exists. Let me move it here. And TT1. Okay, so let me change the name here. So it will be TT1. Okay, you are reading that STL and the rest remain the, remains the same. Okay. And voila, so we are done here. Uh, let's see what we have. See that in that selection we have that refinement. So at this point we're done, my advice, just play around with these auctions. Also play around now with this extraction, get familiar. It's very helpful. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to do something similar. Okay, so it will be faster, much faster than this one, but we're going to add the boundary layer, okay? And also I'm going to do, show you how to merge these two patches. So see that you have this selection, how to merge this once you don't like this. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Bye.